right, Connor Cordova here with Gunnar Nelson, uh, MMAWeekly.com. So, Gunnar, you have a uh, unique position. You're fighting Brandon Ruckus Thatch, who's one of the uh, bigger guys in your division, and both of you are incredibly dynamic fighters. What are your first impressions of that fight? I think it's going to be a very good fight, you know. Um, I don't really get too attached to my opponents. They change all the time, and, and, and we just get... We just get ready for a fight, you know. Whoever is the opponent, I, I've seen Brendan uh, Brendan Tats fight and um, his couple of his last couple of fights, and and yeah, he moves pretty well. So I think it's going to be a good fight. Both of you are rather kind of unique opponents for whoever you're facing. Comes from a pretty traditional karate style background. For you, what's the hardest thing to prepare for, or is it more what you can work on in the fight opposed to training for your opponent? Yeah, like, like I said, I don't really train for specific opponents. They change all the time, uh, and I'm going to be fighting loads of different guys, you know. So I just get ready the best I, I can, uh, the best we know how to, and, and then you go in there, you know. Talking about unique kind of fighters in the sport today, really the big reason why everybody's out here this weekend is for Conor McGregor, and you've been training with him pretty extensively, uh, if I'm correct. So going into this fight tonight, does he approach – fighting and preparation the same way you do opposed to just training for the person being a little bit more versatile and just training for yourself making yourself better yeah connor does the same thing you know he, he doesn't get attached to his opponents he just trains and gets himself ready you know? that, that's that's how we do it in our team speaking of your team you really have taken mma and kind of put it on its head the, with the fighting style the different kind of striking aspects. Where are you pulling from the most out of these traditional kind of jujitsu, boxing, karate? Where are you guys pulling most of your stuff from to kind of uh, give it a new spin that we're seeing? Uh, that really depends on the the athlete, you know. Uh, we, we basically we try to pick everything that that we that we can use from whatever it is, you know, whatever kind of style it is. If, if you can use it, if it feels right. If you believe in it and you want to train it, then, then you use it, you know, and that's up to every individual to, to pick their to pick their styles and, and pick or well, pick what they pick the moves that they like and, and work on them, you know. Any specialists specifically that you've been bringing in to kind of elevate your game? Um, I'm always I'm always just trying to put things together, you know. I, I think like you you learn new moves every now and then but at this stage, it's more about putting it well together, you know, working on your timing, working on uh, your efficiency, uh, uh, and, and just, you know, natural flow, you know, keep, keep it natural, keep it, keep, it, uh, keep it in the field. Any predictions for your fight first with Brandon Thatch and then Conor McGregor this weekend? Um, I don't like to predict my own fight, but I, I'm always going to go in there and, and work to finish. I'm going to try to finish this fight, and that's what I always do. Um, I think Connor would probably finish this fight in, yes, second, third round, maybe third round, TKO.